having the Europa League final in your hometown doesn't happen every year. But when it does, you definitely don't want to miss out on it, do you? If you're new to the channel, a warm welcome to HFV. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Sevilla against AS Roma, two teams with rich history and massive fan base go head to head for the precious title. After applying for a ticket, I wanted these two to qualify to experience the best possible atmosphere. The ticket price for today, I paid 100 euros for a category two ticket. Usually I wouldn't pay this much for a game, but now I'm privileged with all the travel and accommodation costs falling out. So obviously I couldn't say no when the possibility came, it's literally a few kilometers away. We have Sevilla, the absolute owners of this competition, having a record six UEFA Cup slash Europa League titles. And we have Astroma who appeared in one UEFA Cup final before in 1991. They lost that against Internazionale. The finals were contested over two legs until 1997 and they lost 2-1 on aggregate. But back to present time, they won the Conference League last year. They have a coach, Jose Mourinho, who reached five European finals and he won all of them. Two Champions Leagues, two Europa Leagues and the first ever Conference League. Up against the Sevilla side, which made it to the final of this competition six times and won it every single time. One of the unbeaten streaks will be broken today. Sevilla for the seventh time or Roma for the first. Let's find out. We're a bit less than six hours ahead of kickoff and our first destination is the fan gathering point of Sevilla. I'll be watching the game with a Swedish friend of mine and also my younger brother who's already next to me. Hi. Do you support anyone today or are you neutral? Um, no, I'm neutral. Uh, I support for a really good game and I hope it will be. Prediction? 3-2 um, for Sevilla. 3-2? Yeah. Normal time? 2-2 two, two in two, the normal, normal time, time and then 3-2 in the added time. And we arrive at the Sevilla fan zone. This is actually a horse racing ground named after a really famous Hungarian race horse who lived in the 19th century. And this is where all the Sevilla fans gather to have a party before the game. And this is the guy we were waiting for. Who do you support today? Malmö. <laughs> Malmö, okay. Yeah, he's from Malmö. Are you neutral? Yeah. Score prediction? 1-1 one, one and uh, Roma win on penalties. A look at the true party atmosphere under the tents. It's a really sunny day. Such a football fiesta in Budapest today. Mi amigo. Frank. Uno, uno. El Ricardo. Welcome to Budapest. Where are you from? I'm from Sweden. How does a Swede become a Sevilla supporter? Well, uh, long story short, I grew up in uh, Spain, in southern Spain. And uh, well, Name of the city? From Girola, which is next to Malaga. And that's a couple hours away from Sevilla. But uh, yeah, growing up there, it was either... Uh, well, I went to a Swedish school, so it was either Real Madrid or Barcelona. You had to support. And uh, I chose Real Madrid in the beginning. But then when I actually got a personality, I decided I decided to support a good team, you know. So um, uh, yeah, so uh, you know, I'm Andalusian, even though I'm Swedish. And I gotta say, you know, there's nothing better to be here in Budapest with all my people, con toda mi gente. Did you come from the city of Sevilla? Yes, I am from Sevilla and uh, travel to to Madeira. If Funchal go to Budapest in play, uh, we are here. Are you a lifelong Sevilla fan, a family tradition? Yes, my father are 55 years old and then 20. Out of the games this season, which one was the most remarkable for you? Well, it must be Manchester United at home. I mean, that is the typical Sevilla we want to see, you know? Everyone was uh, basically saying we sucked. We were like, what the hell were we doing there? And then after the game at Old Trafford, fair enough, we got two own goals. Everyone said that they were going to run us over and we completely dominated. And you saw the entire stadium bounce. So those are the kind of games we love and hopefully it will be the same tonight. Uh, versus Manchester United. That was a really awesome the extreme. Comeback, the comeback in Old Trafford and then the, the other match in, in Sanchez Big One. You think you can win the seventh Europa League? I think yes, 3 1 from Sevilla. Today is called Nemanja Gudel. Uh, 3 0. Nemanja Gudel, first scorer. 3 
one. I really don't like to do those things because especially when we meet Mourinho, but if we score first, I believe we win with 3-0. I don't know, maybe 2-0. 2-0. Okay. Guys? 2-1 for Sevilla. Oh. Who will score? Player? Jugador? Ocampos and in the city. What do you think? Igual. The same, okay. What do you think? La predicción del partido. 2-1 Sevilla. 2-1 Sevilla. ¿Quién marca? Suso and the city. Tell us about the flag you showed earlier. Well, it's um, Peña Escarenava. Uh, bueno, Sevillista de Escarenavia. And meaning that it's a uh, uh, well re supporter club in Scandinavia. So there's a bunch of us that live all across Scandinavia who support Sevilla. And I mean, you have people from Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, uh, even Iceland and so on. And basically we get together, we watch games together. We went to Copenhagen last time in the Champions League and uh, we basically spend all our days talking about Sevilla. And also I have a present here for you. Oh, thank you so much. That's very kind. It's a scarf, and it means that uh, you never surrender. And uh, as a Sevilla supporter, we never do. So here you go, my friend. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was the Sevilla gathering point, guys. Our next destination, you guessed it, the Roma meeting point. Here we go, that's the Eastern Railway Station here, monumental building, and we already see Roma fans. There is a public transport chaos in the city, all the buses and so on going on alternative routes. You're here at the Hero Square, which is one of the main sites of the city. Historical statues there with King's War Memorial. This is the official fan festival, both jerseys. It's not the Roma gathering point yet, but you certainly can see a lot of Roma supporters. Where are you guys from? Austria. From Austria, yeah. Who do you think you'll win? I mean, Obvi stupid question. Obviously Roma. We win 2-0. Who will score the goals? Dybala. I mean, your score prediction, like you think only like a 1-0 win? Yes, I think 1-0. I say Dybala and uh, Pellegrini, the capitano. How do Austrian people become Roma supporters? Oh, it's a long story. How much time do you have? <laughs> it begins in the, in, the, in the early 2000s with the last team who win the championship with Batistuta, Totti and uh, these, these kind of players. I started to live my passion for Roma. Yeah, we are also close to Italy, only half an hour away, so uh, we go a lot to Rome. Yeah. We are really supporters since a long time. Are you a relative of uh, Jorginho? <laughs> Thank you guys, enjoy the game. Fish pass. We arrived at the Alas Roma fan base three hours before kickoff, so most of the fans already leaving going to the game. We're here to catch the last bits of the atmosphere. In the city park, this area is much bigger than what the Sevilla supporters had. Your score prediction for today? For me, Tammy Abbeam, 2 go. 2 0 for Roma? 2 0 for Roma? 2 1. How was your trip here, guys? Our trip has been amazing. I've taken my friend here all around Budapest. And he's enjoyed it a lot. I've got a big announcement to make. We're going to the Roma game now. 
If you're in the C section, be careful because we're gonna streak the game. Okay? Minute 80 of the game, be careful. We're about to streak. So watch out for that. What was your favorite game this season? Any game, Europa League, Serie A. Europa League for sure was the game against Bayern Leverkusen, nail nail. Roma had 23% ball possession. Mourinho defense, it tactics? Utter suffering and it just represents the spirit of any Roma fan. It's just uh, endless suffering. Oh yeah, that's fan culture. Massive people pushing each other. What do you say, bro? How are you feeling? You have so, you have so much space here. Welcome, guys, to the National Stadium of Hungary. We made it inside. And as my friend knows, this is not the only game which is being held in Pushkas Arena in the Europa League this year. But you won't tell the viewers which one it is because they have to guess it. Write it in the comments, guys. And uh, if you know it, then you're really educated in football. Down below. <laughs> Uh, Europa League final prices. You get a sandwich like this for 5.5 euros, 7 up, uh, and all the other drinks for uh, 3.5 euros, and beer also 5.5 euros. And this is for an approximate price of 6 euros. Yeah, I introduced the beer before, don't worry. Bombs, both anthems. Credit to both of these fan bases. They are incredible. It's incredible. It's a privilege to have these fans here in Budapest. Here we go soon. Sevilla's visuals. Oh yes, P 
big football concert for you guys. Former Hungarian international Zoltan Gera places a trophy in this place. And the Hungarians around us chanting. with a really big save in the 12th minute it was the biggest chance of the match so far Roma almost took the lead Just before the goal, Sevilla players were waiting for the ref to blow the whistle for a foul, but Anthony Taylor didn't do so. And there was a key pass for Dybala. The defense was exposed for Sevilla. It's a simple shot. It's bottom left. It's put away well. But the thing is, um, it's part of the bus now, obviously. We know Mourinho, a 1 0 lead. So now it'll be really hard to step up for Sevilla. But the atmosphere is mental. It's how it should be. Time in a 1 0 Roma lead and a really unlucky shot for Sevilla. It was such accuracy and power in that. 
and hit the post and didn't go in. Rakitic just before half time. This first half was actually surprising for me because uh, I expected Sevilla attacking more, but they just couldn't get the better of that massive Mourinho type of uh, Roma defense. They didn't really have shots. Roma could have gone 2 0 up, they played much, much better, but they used one of the chances from the few they had. Let's see, hoping for more goals in the second half. My friend just said time racing already began by Roma. They won't come out of the dressing room. And Nesri kicks the ball from the center pot. Or will he kick it into the net in the second half? That's a question. Equalizer, limbs coming from Andalusia this time. 1-1, one, one, Sevilla score. It was an own goal, guys. It was an own goal. Thirteenth minute, very, very dull, unenjoyable extra time. But from now on, whatever happens, it's drama if it's deciding. The muscles must be really tired and exhausted there. We are in the 124th minute, approximately. A lot of added time, a lot of injuries throughout the game. The game was good until the 60th minute, about that, and uh, and after that was it became rather cagey. Uh, I was expecting it to be KG in the beginning, but it became KG after 1-1. Obviously, both teams were defending what they had. And in the extra time, they basically didn't play and hold. The crowd was basically waiting for the penalties. And now we're almost there. Hit the bar. Incredible. Roma hit the bar. Literally seconds before the end. That's it. It's going to be decided by penalties. And we played, well, 12 additional minutes after 120. So much depends on those deep goals. Penalties will be shot in front of the massive three tier Sevilla support. Ocampos passes it into the net. Oh! 
confident penalty, 1-1. Drama guys, second Roma penalty is missed, Savia in the lead, Rakitic. as well. Mourinho can't watch. One penalty needed literally for Sevilla to remain unbeaten, to be seven times Europa League winners. And obviously you noticed during the vlog that there are all Roma fans around us here. They'll be incredibly disappointed if this goes in. Thing as penalty VAR, uh, this, this is getting out of reach, guys. It can, it can be retaken. It's allowed. Goalkeeper apparently moved away from the goal line. Oh, crazy trauma! And the retake. It's in Sevilla. Sevilla in the Europa League. Guys, it's the UEFA Sevilla League, officially. Supporters storming the pitch. Agony on the Roma side. You gotta feel for these supporters. A retake and penalty, guys. Sweet mercy. Oh my god. Disappointment beyond belief. Enjoy. It's never fair after penalties. Is still full of Roma supporters. And look at their expressions. Ivan Rakitic and Jesus Navas take the trophy together to lift it for the red and whites for a record seventh time. The joyous fans in the background and the winner team. That was the Europa League final 2023 in Budapest, guys. Congratulations to Sevilla. Sevilla win the UEFA 
Sevilla League once again. It's just meant for them. It's crazy to think how their season just turned around. After round 24 of La Liga, they were 17th. And then all this switch, now they are 11th. Uh, they can still go up some places because there is one round left from La Liga and they secure Champions League football. They obviously also secured a UEFA Super Cup spot. I really gotta feel sorry for those Roma fans. I was a total neutral in this game. Uh, I have that Swedish friend in the interview and I'm happy for him because he's a Sevilla supporter. Let's talk a wee bit about Gonzalo Montiel and then that's it because the video is long enough at this point. He decided the World Cup with his penalty and now the Europa League even though he had a second take because of the VAR and Rui Patricio was off his line so that was his luck after missing the penalty and then he won it for Sevilla as well so it's really remarkable congrats for Sevilla and all their fans traveling to Budapest this was it guys I was HFV if you liked what you saw join me on the channel related social media accounts you can see all the possibilities on screen and see you next time on the channel goodbye